So good morning all. Today is going to be a bit of a, a weekend vlog. Um, it's about half ten. I should have set off at half eight. I'm out for a run with Zara, who looks absolutely interested in what we're doing. Uh, it started raining, which is a bit of a pain, and uh, I'm in quite a bit of discomfort. As you can see, I've got this ginormous cheek. Um, I've had a tooth taken out, but that was Thursday. It's now Sunday, and it's it's not infected, but it's still flipping sore from where she was waggling it around in my uh, gum so i'm gonna have to take take my time um that's if we can get zara back up off the floor so let's carry on with a little run and then we shall come back later yay she's up <laughs> right let's go then let's carry on you ready zara let's go Ooh. i think i'll stop this because that's going to be really annoying because it's banging up and down on the video okay be back soon so I mainly run Zara when we go alone, just sort of on the, well you call it road running, on the pavements which helps to wear down her claws because she's got quite big claws. But I also like to give her a little go off the lead. So we've come to a bit of a field, I shall jog around this and Zara can play at her leisure. So here she is, pretending she's a horse, she loves eating grass, I know grass sometimes dogs eat grass to make themselves sick but I think just because she's late having a breakfast this morning she's a bit peckish peckish anyway Zara's a just over nine year old Rhodesian Ridgeback um, if you can see here this is the ridge she's got going down her back it's just like a hair that goes the other way but the amount of comments that people say it's ridiculous a lot of people ask if we've uh, had it cut like that which is stupid anyway she's um, in really good health at the moment like I say she's just over nine and we run her once or twice a week but she is slowing down a little bit now so we need to um, bear that in mind a little bit but she's very fit and active we used to have two of them we had her brother as well who was a lot bigger than her but we lost him a year ago which was absolutely terrible so i'm dreading the day that she goes as well because she's like my little baby so anyway this is my little outfit today so uh it was sunny when we set off so just a vest and then around my Torso. I've got this sort of belt thing that holds poo bags, uh, a key and my phone. So this belt underneath is a special running belt which I've just attached to myself at the moment because I'm going to run off lead, let Zara off lead for a bit. But this is her lead on the end of this. Um, I'll insert a picture of Solomon too so you can see the sort of size he was and, and um, you can see that I used to have two of these attached to me, which when I'm only five foot three was quite entertaining for a lot of our local residents. Um, I've actually had people come up to me in, in the near shops or whatever asking um, when I'm not with the dogs if I'm the lady that runs around Chelmsford with two dogs hanging off her. Well, yes, it is moi. Anyway, I'm going to let Zara have a little run about now and um, carry on running. Here she is in the rain. Come on in. The problem is, I think because we're in an area that we don't come to that often, uh, she's sticking to me like glue, which is lovely. But um, in the fields, when we go to the fields a bit near our house, she usually runs off a bit. Come on then, you rascal. Yes. You want to see little rascal. It's absolutely chucking it down now. But this is the thing, if you have a dog, it's all weather. Not just a fair weather dog owner. The pair of us are getting soaked. Zara <laughs> wants to go home, as do I, for some breakfast. Funnily enough, now it's raining, suddenly Zara is running a bit quicker. She is next to me, normally she's going behind me. Come on then, let's go. Oh, it's absolutely slinging it down. Oh, my feet are wet. <laughs> the dog's wet. Nice to see some of the Stonefield Striders out on the trail race. Um, that's our local running club around here. I, Alan and I were members of it a few years ago, but because we don't take the running very seriously now, um, we stop going to be honest, because we don't run with them or go in all the races. But a good friend of mine, she's a female captain there, so here's a few of them near the end of the race. Morning! So that's us finished 5.3 miles, which is just over five and a quarter miles. Um, guess what? Stop raining now, but I'm drenched as it is Zara. Her fur is wet through. 
so I'm going to go inside, towel is both off, I'm going to have a hot shower and wash my hair, uh, dry Zara off, she can't eat for at least 30 minutes after a run um, because of, I think it's called bloat, where the intestine can twist and I have known dogs die of that so we leave it half an hour before she eats. Uh, so I'll just go inside and do my 20 press ups and then uh, get washed and showered and then I can feed her. Here she is. So I'm a bit late eating, normally I like to try and eat within about half an hour, so we've gone over to lunchtime and I've still not had my breakfast, which is very, very unusual for me. So I've gone for a brunch. I've got here, this is lovely, honey, honey baked bread, tin tomatoes with a bit of parmesan cheese and a can of this Rio light, which I absolutely love. A um, bit of salt and pepper, scrummy, scrummy. So I'm back, I've had a shower, had my lunch, Look at my cheek, I'm sure it's getting bigger. Um, right, I need to sort out my hair next. I'm gonna dye my eyebrows and uh, just sort out my root issue with a bit of the old magic retouch. I have to do this after I've washed my hair every time at the minute because I've got a lot of regrowth coming through, which I have dyed, but it's blonde rather than from when I had the hair a bit redder. So as you can see, quite bad so I've done another video on how to do the uh, the touch-up so I'm just going to do that off screen and then come back and talk about dyeing my eyebrows so that's the roots done I've used um, two of these I've used the dark blonde and mahogany brown and I've just put a bit through the roots and got rid of those nasty stripes I can't believe this stuff, it's absolutely brilliant. It's great for in between hair dyes, um, or if you've got grey hair. I can't believe the size of my cheek, I'm sure it's getting bigger. It's getting a bit hot actually, so I'm a bit worried. Might be a bit infected. Right, onto the brows next. So as you can see, I've got very, very sparse eyebrows. Um, I'd not necessarily over pluck them but I've just not got a lot of I know I've got a lot of hair but it's very fine so obviously the brows are fine too so I'm going to use some of this hair dye just for men beard dye um, I've done a separate video on this also if you wanted to take a look so I'm just going to uh, go off screen and do these now so I've just mixed up the uh, colour and developer and just put a bit on the brows. How I feel this is less is more because you can go back and do it again if you've missed any hairs or it's not taken dark enough. So I'm going to pop that on and just leave that on for a couple of minutes. You can see the colour is already changing as I'm filming. So that's after the first go. You have to be careful not to dye your skin with this. I really should probably put some Vaseline underneath and on top but I can't be bothered because I can get it off once I'm... Um, if it dyes my skin but that's pretty good already the first go so I should give it another go because I need to fill in a bit down the sides where it's even more sparse I'm hoping to catch a few more of those hairs and as you can see I've caught my face that's not good I need to get that off right so that's the brows done they're looking a bit dark at the minute but when I have a shower in the morning and move my makeup a bit that will uh, fade very quickly. <laughs> I know they look a bit dark right now. But once I've got my fringe down, makeup on, they won't look so bad. I hope. So never buy my eyebrows. I'm a bit concerned about this growing cheek. Um, even Alan said it's getting bigger. So I'm gonna do what I should have done from the beginning. I've only done it once. Swarm my mouth out with some salt water, which is what the dentist suggested I should do every time I eat. It's now impacting on how I speak, I think. Anyway, cheers. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Right, so I've just swilled that round with salt water. That feels a little bit better. And uh, I've just done a little few house chores. Done to put some washing on. So I did the kitchen, emptied the dishwasher, did some vacuuming. 
normal tools. Now I need to make something of this. Um, I'm looking a bit pasty. I don't feel that great actually. I'm just worried that this tooth is not as it should be. And I feel a bit, a bit yucky. And I look it, look, I look a bit drained. Anyway, right, let's do something with this. Uh, as you can see, I've sorted out just about the top from when I touched it up earlier. Now I need to just sort myself out. Can't believe I got so soaked this morning. <laughs> right, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a fringe trim. Probably do this about once a week. So I just brush all my fringe forward. Um, my fringe is so much thinner this side, it's, it's, it's a nightmare, I don't know whether it's snapped off or it just doesn't grow as well, but you can see, look how, how much thinner it is. So sometimes I have to sort of give myself a little bit of a comb over, <laughs> comb a bit more from the back and then sort of cut that into the fringe. Right, let's get the scissors out. Now, my hairdresser will actually turn in her grave, even though she's not dead, for me doing this. But this is what works for me. And how quick my fringe grows over the week or a couple of weeks, I could not wait each time to go to my hairdresser. You can see where it's growing out, the colour. And I just meet it up with any longer bits that I may have missed. Done. And then I'll now use a couple of these to just curl my fringe without damaging it too much. If I'm going anywhere, I use the straighteners, but just for a weekend or at work, <coughs> excuse me, and just do this. And then add a bit of spray. Just cover my forehead with a tissue. Now I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'll just leave them to set. And as time's ticked on, it's now quarter to four. Um, we're not, I'm not going anywhere, we're not going anywhere, so this is purely for the sake of this video really. So I'm not going to bother with too much makeup I'm afraid. Um, I just put a little bit of something on the end of my nose to stop it shining, which is, if you've seen a few of my videos, story of my life. So today, I'm very proud of myself. I just put that on the wall with the assistance of Alan. I've used a drill before. And I've had to drill a couple of holes into the wall, put the uh, put a couple of these bits in, the wall plug things, which actually aren't called wall plugs, I think. And then I've put the screws in as well. And it was a bit wonky, so we undid it and uh, just moved it over slightly. And now it's on. And that's the recharging pack for a Dyson, a handheld Dyson. There we go, good as gold. It's one thing I really like about Alan, he, you know, he really, he just teaches me a lot of stuff and things that you think that you can't do or women can't do or what you're scared to do. He always helps and encourages me to learn new things, which sometimes at the time I can be a little bit apprehensive, but after, when you realise how easy it is, it makes you feel really chuffed. So thank you, Alan. Time to do a few twanky duties that we call them in our house. This is when I become obsessed with cleaning or doing any household chores. Alan calls me Widow Twanky. So, time to do a bit of twanking. 
with some dark washes, some dark clothes. I don't have a washing line. I actually don't feel that I need to actually. We've got this little airing cupboard inside our house, which is upstairs. Got all of our spare towels and bits and bedding and bits and bobs in there. And I've just got an airer that I can put everything on. This basket is something that I bought from the old home bargains. It's just got a couple of um, laundry items in it. And these beauties, I got these off face, uh, eBay. And uh, sorry, I'm just eating a plum. And um, you can pop, pop, pop bras in there in the wash. So I've got one for whites, one for darks. And it stops the hooks getting attached to clothing and it just protects bras a bit better when they're in the wash. So let's get the washing up. There we go, all hung up. Because uh, there's only the two of us and I wash quite on a regular basis, don't have a massive amount of stuff to put out. So I think that's why um, I can just use an airing cupboard. So the sun has come out and I've come out with Alan for um, a round of pitch and putt golf and a few goes on the uh, putting, no, what it's called, driving range. So we're out here, glorious sunshine now, look at this. There's Alan over there. And I shall be finishing the vlog today. What a final hole of nine, and Alan is just about to take his turn. my ball in the tree. Look at the size of this. I'm not going to find it. Game over. <laughs> I found it. It's up there. Can you get it? No, it's, I'm too small. Hold on, hold on. Make sure it doesn't there go it is. The middle. Where is it now? Oh yeah. <laughs> yellow thing. Oops. Get it. Oh yeah. Oops. Yay! So I can take my shot from there. Well done. Just missed the beast. So now we've just popped into um, a place called Butts Green. We're in a little coffee shop for a spot of lunch. So that's the end of today's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I have had to combine two sort of days together because uh, the day one that I did start doing the vlog on, the weather ended up being terrible and um, I didn't do much else after that lot. Actually, I stayed in, uh, in the house doing um, chores. Anyway, today I've been out with Alan, which has been lovely. We've had the golf and now come for a lovely bite to eat. I had a ploughman's, Alan had smashed avocado and poached eggs, which was scrummy. We've not been to this place before, but we'll certainly come back. Anyway, that's the end of the vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a sub of mine. If you are, thank you so much for uh, sticking with me and I'll hopefully see you again soon on another video. Bye for now.